the 1840s, 1850s um, were a very tense time in the United States, and a woman named Sarah Josepha Hale, who was a Vassar graduate, she was the editor of a publication called Go Godey's Ladies Book, um, began a sort of campaign trying to make Thanksgiving a national holiday on the third Thursday in November. Um, she had this sort of rehashed history of what happened with the pilgrim. She had a list of uh, foods that she thought people should consume. Um, and she ultimately, through her campaign, convinced Abraham Lincoln to declare the day a national holiday in 1863. The darker side of that history is the fact that it was a contentious declaration and that numerous southern states refused to celebrate it. Um, some of the southern states declared Thanksgiving on different dates. Um, some just refused. They called it a damn janky holiday. Um, and after the Civil War, during the period of Reconstruction, you didn't really see Thanksgiving being celebrated in the South throughout this time. The interesting darker thing that happens is in the seven, in the 1870s, 80s, 90s, we begin to see the publication of very racist cartoons that depict um, African Americans stealing turkeys or eating very paltry turkeys or appearing as caricature, caricatured sort of figures. Um, and as these cartoons are being published, um, as people are circulating them, and as Reconstruction sort of comes to a close through the introduction of Jim Crow laws, this is really the time that the South starts to recognize Thanksgiving as its own holiday, um, once um, white Americans have implemented more racist laws um, restricting the political activity and involvement of people of African descent. So this emergence of a national holiday is a way for becomes a way for white americans to kind of reconcile a national past while pushing aside um people who they see as not belonging